In today's video, I want to talk about the neurological effects of a subluxation. And that might sound fairly complicated, the neurological effects of a subluxation. But when we break it down, it's quite simple. A subluxation is a misalignment of your spine. If your spine's misaligned, it affects the nerves. And these nerves carry the messages to control and coordinate every function of your body. So if in fact you interfere with the nerves to a muscle, the muscle can tighten up. And if it does, you might have neck or back stiffness. If those muscles go into spasm, you're gonna have full blown pain. The nerves also go to the skin for sensation, and those are the sensory nerves. So if in fact you interfere with the nerves to the skin, that's when you have symptoms like numbness, tingling, pins and needles, burning sensations. But these nerves also go to your organs. And again, if you have poor nerve flow to an organ, you'll have poor function of that organ, but you won't necessarily feel it, at least not until that organ starts to fail. So if you have an organ that's supposed to be working at 100%, but it has a poor nerve supply, it's moving away from 100% function, times 90, 80, 70, and eventually gets below 60% function. Now the organ starts to fail. You end up with some symptoms. They run some blood work, they perform some tests, they give you the diagnosis. But most people would think their problem started when the symptoms started. It started years, sometimes even decades earlier with poor nerve flow. So that's the purpose of the adjustment. Reduce the subluxations, remove the nerve interference, so that not only you feel better, but your body functions better and you're healthier your whole life. And that's my goal for you.